Today we're looking at the 2023 Junior Regionals Under 18 Girls Grand Final. Oh, how about that? It's even better. Count of the day, count of the hour. That is sensational. Okay, 18 Girls Grand Final. We have with the ball the Hunter Western Hornets against the Sydney Scorpions in the green. They played each other in the round game the day before with the Hornets. I think they came out victors 5-3. We have a splitter sort of off the, the tap off. But this is something you don't normally see. It's a splitter setup. Okay, by splitter I mean... Ugh, let me get the pen going. Yuck. Can't get it right. Middle, middle, dump. Okay, it's going to act like a quickie. A short side quickie where the, the ball, pl uh, ball dumping middle splits out, straightens up. Well, actually, no, they don't split out and straighten up. They split out and get the ball. So the defender is going to be pulling corner to cover that. But the link is going to come up the middle and basically split the ruck open. So while the toucher is focused on the dumper, the link gets it up the middle and then steps back onto the open side for a 4-on-3. But what happens here, they do a splitter, except they give it to the, to the quickie. Now, I'm not sure if that was a miscommunication where it wasn't supposed to be a splitter. But the way they've scored this try, as you can see, the link defender's feet are not quite on the line. So as we play the ball, uh, play the video, the referee calls play through, which is a good call from the referee. We don't want to be penalising that. If they're offside, they can't make a touch. If they can't make a touch, it's a try. So Scorps hit back. Nice uh, running onto the field. They've gone down the short side and just got it for speed. Well, let's have a look how they got down that short side. <clears throat> this must be the fifth touch coming. So what's happened here is look at look at the the position that the Hornets are in defensively. One, two, three, four are pretty much all in a flat line. Okay, which means if you look at all this space behind you, color it in, it's unoccupied. So if I was a dummy half, yes, I would try and find my mate, uh, find my way into that space as quickly as possible. And which is what she does. She picks it up. All she has to do is beat this first person. Once she beats that first person who is making the touch, no one can cover her because they're all in the same boat. They're all trying to get back on side as well. Okay, so no one can step forward and actually shut down this play. So when the Scorps run through, it's basically just a foot race now. Hornets Link's done all she can, but just didn't have the pace. So you always want to make sure that if you know any of the touch or you're not making the touch, you do your best to get back with the referee as quick as possible. Hornets now strike back again. Quickie cutout ball. And a throwback. Nice nice job. Let's have a look at that again. All right. So it's not a quickie. Mod. Well, it is, but it's a counties. So it's a middle link. Middle link. Middle will split in, straighten up, and then attack this player, who, this player who's offside. Okay. She should be pulling corner which allows everyone else to step forward, and it's a four on three. It's four players on three. Yep, so there's the step in, straightens up. She's already beaten this player. She's just pulled a corner without actually looking to see what's happening. So she runs forward into the line. This player will run a hole. Link will run a hole. Winger will stay wide. And she's picked out of those three, the Link. So she's seen this player come crashing in, and it's an excellent decision to go over the top of her and pass to the Link. Now, if the Winger here probably had to do this again she would just come in and jam that before she could pass and if this link had, if this link could do that again she would just immediately chase over she probably thought the winger was going in but the winger holds a ground is able to chase but there's that gap on the inside and the hornets take the lead scorps hitting back once again Short side quickie, but they run to the open. And it is a no touch call. Okay, so there's the quickie. Probably needed to be dumping back there, but hey, it's not the end of the world. Split, short side, you get the ball back normally. Okay, and then you take on this player and you try and score. Now with the gap between those two middles, if I was the dummy half, I probably would have just given the quickie. Okay, so the idea of what Scorps have done here is she picks up and runs back to the open side, which is good. However, because there's that big gap between the middles, she actually run, turn around, turns around and runs straight into the, the other middle. You normally want to do that if they're super tight. If they're super tight 
and you counter the, mem the momentum, you actually get around it, or around in that case the X, the arrow to the X with the arrow around it. Uh, but because the middles are abnormally wired, she picks up the ball and she runs straight into that middle. Uh, what, what they did really well here, the Scorps, she just ran a really fast hole. Okay, and the link, probably where she needed to be at the start, uh, but just didn't react as quick enough as that Scorps player, and it's a, it's a matter of probably inches, and just misses that touch. So, the play didn't actually work out for him, but it was just a good reaction from their link uh, to run that hole nice and fast. Sweeper. Counter the short side. Okay. It's a nice play. This this actually, I have to, to be honest, this play is very, very underutilized. Um, it's got an incredible strike rate of succeeding, or if anything, just getting over from dummy half. So it looks like a sweeper. Gets the inside shoulder of that middle. Sweeper's coming around. That's a terrible arrow. This player here will have to chase the sweeper, so she'll need to pull a hard corner. Uh, the sweeper then can get the ball and beat them. They can try and gas them for speed on the outside. They can ball play. Uh, but what happens here is because this player here is pulling that really hard corner, the rest of the team have to cover the inside. So all their momentum has to then go to the short side a lot faster than what they would do if this was a rooster or any other four, uh, any other four on three play. So what the dummy half does, she sees that all the momentum's going that way, she picks up and immediately goes the other way. The sweeper's done a really good job to curl around and be available for an inside just in case this player's just gone and can completely pulled a corner. But the momentum shifting this way from all the players has left a line open for the winger. Not the easiest pass left to right, but a very good one. And a very, really good put down for, for the catch and dive to be pretty much the same movement. A nice try from the Hornets. Scorps hitting back with their own sweeper. Very similar play. Very similar play. They got a bit lucky here. Oh, not so much lucky, but... So there's the sweeper again. They counter the momentum. Now, if I was this player here, that's your own play. I'm not sure whether she got confused and thought the girl in front of her was her middle, but I would have just ran. And I would have tried to get a little bit wider if I was this player. Um... She does pass the ball here. There's good recovery from the link, but it's a nice little nice little bit of footwork from the, the, the Scorpions player to get on the inside shoulder and just go for the line. Again, matter of inches, but a point's a point. So that was that was right at the end of the game. So this actually forces the game into a drop-off. The drop-off uh, in recent years has been changed to two minutes, four on four. Whoever's in front after that two minutes. Uh, is deemed the winner if the ball eh, sorry if the game is still level drop a player off go down to three on three and it's just next try wins no matter what so the scorpions have bowled over one of the hornets players here let's have a look it's four on four at this stage hornets players come in to make the touch and shut it down there's a big collision big collision hornets play goes down referee calls play on and now it's four on three Good recovery. The referee calls ball down. There's not really much we can analyze there. Um, a lot of people think that that should have been a penalty. Um, I really am 50-50 on it. I'm okay with play on. I'm a, I probably wouldn't complain if there was a penalty. Uh, sometimes there's collisions. And if we had have pulled that up and made it play the ball again, the advantage goes to Hornets. Uh, so I'm okay with the advantage going to the team with the ball. So we're 20 seconds into the drop-off, according to the clock anyway, and Hornets, they do have their chance to hit back and level it up again. Let's see how they do this. Just enjoy the drop-off tension that's provided. And now I turn into a commentator rather than an analyzer. A little rooster play, give back, but it's probably done a little bit too far out. The Hornets here can probably see a little bit of frustration there. I think they've got one more play coming up. So they're going to call counties. It is the last now. Switch. A late switch. Look, and when you've got the space of four on four, a late switch is brilliant. So, the ball carrier is going to gun it this way. Ball supporter is going to gun it this way. These two, if they want to make the touch, have also got to gun it that way. And what happens then is as soon as the momentum shifts between the two players, this player will just drop underneath and receive the ball. And there it is there. 
The, the, the way to get a late switch going is you do need to run laterally. Probably at a 45 degree and you've got to do it hard. The faster you run, the harder it is for the players to read the switch. So there's the switch. And there's the try. Leveling the game back up. So Scorps, let's fast forward a little bit. Alright, so Scorps have the ball now. It's still 4 on 4. Seems like the Hooter has just gone, so a player will drop off for each team. Now, you can't make subs here. Very important. Oh, so Scorps have just been confused. They thought that they were, someone was forced sub, but no, it's someone has to actually drop off. And now they've made subs. Now is an okay time to make subs because play's back on. A little quickie. But she's going to make a sub and, and then changed her mind. So it's last touch now. Let's see what happens. Penalty, Hornets ball. Now Hornets work their way up the field. Probably not as as forward momentum as you'd like. You've got to bite the bullet here. It's three on three and you just need to arrows, arrows, arrows or, or try and get some subs somehow. But we just have to keep moving forward. And there's a lot of sort of, I don't know how to explain it, just sort of second guessing or, or waiting for someone else to take control there. And they really only got it to halfway. So... So Scorps are a bit lucky here. They're getting good ball, good, good ball position. Nice touch there. So we'll just fast forward a bit. See how they this game ends. So it's a short side quickie or it's a quickie. Good touch. Another quickie. Very close. Now look, when you when you got three on three. Yes, the rule of thumb is you pull corner. Okay? But if you pull corner and you get beat, it's two on one. And that's really, really easy to score. Uh, so best practice here is you try to kind of pull back to your line a little bit. Um, it, it's, a, it's a very, very tight margin. But the idea is you want to try and give yourself as much chance to make the touch without getting beaten. Now, I think this player's done a pretty good job. Okay? The only downfall here is then when she when she hit the line, you can see she she lends a full body here, bang. She kind of just sort of plants herself. So she sort of gets hits the line and then tries to go to make the touch rather than trying a nice smooth curve. It's literally the only thing that I can think of that she could have done better. It's super hard to defend a quickie, a three on three. This player can't come in too far to help. Normally they would, but she has no support on the outside. She comes in and steps up into the line. They just pass it out and they score there. Very difficult. And Scorps win in the drop-off. So a very close game, very exciting game. Uh, congratulations to the Scorps. And thanks for watching another episode of Game Analysis. We'll see you next time.